Hey, this is Speed. Just a, uh, another uh, unboxing of the Audio Control DQDX. Um, I didn't show the unboxing as far as the box that uh, that Crutchfield shipped it in because everybody knows what uh, open up a box looks like. And uh, just one thing I disliked about the way Crutchfield shipped this is now picture that box I just removed under these peanuts and it's up to here. And you can't pull that out without dumping all these peanuts all over the place. They need to start using paper. Now I know these are supposed to be biodegradable peanuts that they use and all that. But that doesn't negate the fact that it makes a big mess in your house. Okay. And we're going to go to this unboxing. You can see my fingerprints on it. And we'll start this in a minute. Okay. So you get this Crutchfield support manual when you get when you buy it from Crutchfield. I assume they all every box gets one and it just kind of gives you a welcome to the family spiel and who to, where to call for their service, their tech support line and you know all the you know stuff you need. There's the guy overflowing the box of peanuts that got all over my floor but uh anyway you got that and then here we go we got the dx we got it in the box the box is kind of a weird one because you kind of gotta slide the end off I need to find me a tripod real quick so hold on a minute okay well it looks like I can't find a tripod so let's see if I can put this phone down and not screw up the shot too badly this you gotta slide the inside out and if you pull too tight on one thing, it binds on another. It's kind of a pain in the backside, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, the box slides like this. It slides off. Okay, so I got it off. But the outside of the box just gives you some general information. Some key features, if you will. And pretty much the same on the front of the box. Making sound great and more key features. Alright, we don't need that anymore. I uh I bought this on Amazon from Crutchfield. Crutchfield was the ones who did it. And oh, I opened the box upside down. How about that? And it was $2.99. Um some sellers had it for two I wanna say two 47 but this is what you get here's the unit here is the remote you get a razor blade here that's my razor blade soap bar and I also use that for lubricant for screws when I'm uh, working on guitars out here But I'll cut that open and here's the cable. It's got the uh, telephone style connectors. 
here is the bait base remote and uh and you can do some settings because this is also uh a button besides a knob so it's uh it's all metal it's pretty tough seems like it'd take a beating if it well if you give it one and here is the unit itself and it is basically nine well if you include the if you include the flange for mounting you're looking at basically 10 inches wide more or less 10 inches by well if we go all the way out to the to the end of the power uh, a little over six inches six and a quarter inches and uh, it's about a it's about an inch deep and you got your delay and uh, your crossover and your speaker equalization front, rear, and subwoofer, along with your input levels and output levels, and your RCAs. It's got the regular RCAs and not the Tiffany style, I believe. Yep, just the regular style RCA. Um, and there's your remote input and your uh, power ground and remote and it's also got an extra remote out so you can use this to uh, kick start your amplifiers or other other electronics or the thing I like about this if I can pull it out one-handed here is this comes out so then you can easily wire it, put your wires in there and tighten them down with either a straight or Phillips head screwdriver. And then once you got your wires in there, then you can uh, just pop it right back in. Of course, it's not going to pop right back in when I'm trying to pop it in. Oh, oh there you go. And it just snaps right back in and there you have it so I will be installing this tomorrow sometime and I'll make a video um, another video of the results I'm not gonna do an install video because there's a hundred of them out there on YouTube and I'm not going to do a setup video because everybody sets up stuff their own way. Um, but I will just do a final results and uh, a final uh, what I feel about it. Now, to be perfectly clear or honest, um, this is the second one of these I had. I bought one off an eBay seller who was not a... Um, an official an official vendor for audio control and um, I got it for it was like $25 cheaper so uh, turns out even though the, um, the seller said it was brand new I, I think it was a uh, a return like they bought a pallet of re factory returns and um, the uh, front was the front left or front left or front right now I, I don't remember had a bad bad um, noise coming out of it screaming noise um, so I sent it back and uh, complained because I it there was no way it was brand new so then I, I got this from the authorized uh, vendor that way I can get help from audio control because audio control, I actually called them first and they said, well, the vendor, I, we can't help you, basically. By the way, audio control, they actually answer their telephones. 
the phone rang twice and a real human being answered. And when I got transferred to the um, help department, there was a real person who answered there and talked to me. So uh, kudos to Audio Control for that. Oh, a few other things to get here. We get a really cool audio control guitar pick. And what they send this for is simply to use to make your settings on your... Because this is plastic, that's plastic. You know, if I used a regular screwdriver, it would scratch it up and all. So this is cool. And plus I have guitars. So once I'm done with this, I've got a cool audio control uh, guitar pick to uh, use with my guitars. I've got uh, 33 guitars and all, but uh, I'm a terrible player, so don't never expect me to play on this channel. I may show you all them one day, but anyway. So you got somebody signed off on the test. So you get this, you get the, uh, you get the manual. And I actually like this manual. I, I like the booklets. I really hate, like I, I just put a, a Pioneer system in my brother's car or his, uh, his SUV. And the Pioneer book, which uh, really I don't need a book, so to speak, but you know, I always just double check the wire colors and make sure everything's pretty standard. And it was one of those great big unfolding map looking things and it was just unruly to deal with and it was a pain. But um, I like this because it's an actual book. And you can also go onto Audio Control's website uh, with a smartphone or, or computer and look at this too. So if you know, you, you end up getting a used one that doesn't have this, you can still get the information from audio control. So anyway, that's the unboxing. It's a little longer video than I usually make. And uh, I thank you for watching, and have a good one.